love with Pat's Two Cents, here to talk about smut. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 20. Listen to this quote. The wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. I was looking at the dictionary, and another word for mire is filth, slime. I added smut when I looked up filth and slime. So, you know, there are people who feed off of that stuff. They feed it like a bird swallows his, his food, and then he regurgitates it back up on you. Slinging mud, slinging, slinging mire, dirt, slime everywhere. Just smut here, smut there, everywhere smut, smut. I mean, they just love it. You ever hear people who, uh, when they, uh, they like to watch some of the programs on TV where they're fighting each other and they're talking about uh, how this one screwed that one and got their baby and you thought they were faithful to you, but look at this, here's their other girlfriend and everybody in the audience is, Whoo! I mean, they are getting off on that stuff. Well, let me warn you, some of your friends in the church, on the job, in your family, some of your friends, your associates, love dishing the dirt. They love slinging mud. Do you hear what I'm saying? They love the slander, the gossip, the juicy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The juicy stuff. Because to them, it's flavorful. To them, it's enticing. It's, it's invigorating to hear mess at another person's expense. Whether it's true or not, they love it. They love reading those kind of magazines and newspapers. And they will speak it out as if it's fact. They don't know a doggone thing, but they'll pass it on, baby. Now, my mother used to call people like that. She used to refer to them in this uh, parable. A dog that will bring a bone will carry one. So if a person is in a hurry, an eager beaver, to bring you some dirt, they're carrying this stuff to you. Check this out. I heard this. You know what they said about so-and-so? Oh, shoot, he ain't nothing but a faggot. Oh, she ain't nothing but a, uh, she's a, a stanky hoe. She, she, they don't know these people. But they love passing that mess around. And they'll deliver it right to your front door on a silver platter. And sit down with you and watch you devour. In the meantime, they're looking around. They're observing. They're listening to your issues of life. And they go, dee, 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 dee. and they're at somebody else's house telling them, oh, man, do you know what she told me? I look, this firsthand information, so don't you tell anybody I told you. That means spread it around. She said, blah, blah, blah. You know she's seeing that guy again. Oh, that man ain't worth nothing. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you better watch who you hang with. If you hear somebody talking like that, you watch it because God hates gossipers. He hates sowers of discord. Well, look, I tell you what, I'm not going to tell you what she really said about you. But if I were you, mm -hmm. she might not have said anything more than, oh, I'm going to have a talk with her because, you know, I, I think she and I need to straighten some things out. It may not have been anything more than that. But when the person gets through with it, it's going to stink. It's going to be slimy. It's going to look nasty. It's going to get your dander up. You're going to get all hot behind the collar. And all of this over a smoke screen so that they can have fun. They can get their jollies off on sewing discord. That's what my husband calls messiness. He calls people like that. Well, he, he passed away, so past tense. He called people like that messy people. Don't hang with a messy pe a person. 
He used to say some women are just messy. I'm telling you, they can get all in your business. You're a married woman and you've got single friends who wish they could have your man. And they're looking at him, slobbering, drooling with desire, panting, fantasizing. I won't say what else they doing while they fantasizing about your man. And they're sitting up here and they're going through their changes, trying to make you suspicious of a man that is totally faithful to you, of a man who was a good leader and, and, and heading that household and taking y'all in the right direction. And does he always talk to you like that? I wouldn't take that. That's too bossy, girl. You're your own woman. You better grow up. I know you're not taking that mess from him. He hasn't said anything, but babe, please try to remember to do so-and-so. And she's going to make a big World War Three out of it. A war zone. Out of a peaceful settlement. Why? Because they want what you got. And if they can get you to leave him, they'll be the first one up in their face. Hi, how you doing? I'm so sorry to hear what happened. <sighs> Oh, come on. You ever hear that song? Smiling faces sometimes pretend to be your friend. Smiling faces show no traces of the evil that lurks within. Smiling faces, smiling faces sometimes. They don't tell the truth. I'm telling you, it, those people are dangerous. Those people will not only be sowers of discord, but those people will tear your family apart and your life with it. You've got to watch it. You've got to watch women like that. You've got to watch men like that. You might have a man that wants you so bad he can feel it every time he sees you anywhere near or even at a distance. And he feels the rise in his Levi's because he's lusting left and right over you. And he'll come and, and ask you if you look stressed. Do you need to talk about it? You know, you can always count on me. I'll be your friend. And if you say something about your husband or about your kids or about your family or whatever, they're like, well, let's go have dinner. And you, know, you need a friend. You need to talk about that. You know, and if it's a man that you're dealing with, especially if it's a boyfriend, well, I don't know if that's the man for you. You need a real man. Oh, as they flex their muscles. Yeah. And you're sitting up here like a dummy, <laughs> thinking they're really interested in your well-being. No, they're interested in being well, well, well placed in the bed next to you, on top of you, under you, whatever. They're not interested in you or your well-being. You've got to be careful who you hang with. They will filthy up, slimy up, sling mud left and right just to get you where they want you. You know, the Bible says, know them that labor among you. Well, that goes in every way in life. When in doubt, my friend said this today. When in doubt, check it out. Don't take it at face value. Ask God to help you discern who you're dealing with, what you're dealing with. And you also be careful of this. Flatterers. Always got to come. Girl, you are a true woman of God. You are a man of God. The anointing is all over you. While they lean forward and show you their cleavage. The anointing is all over you, brother. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. You better watch people like that. They'll flatter you right into backsliding. They'll flatter you out of friendships. They'll flatter you out of the church. They'll flatter you right into bed. They'll flatter you into adultery. You've got to be careful. There are people out there that are heavily anointed, 
but they're not anointed by God. They're anointed by Satan. You've got to really watch and pray. You can't just close your eyes. Oh, Lord, blah, 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 blah. And you open your eyes and you just walk around all naive and sweet and believing everybody that says they're a born-again Christian. Look, girlfriend, there are men out there that will born-again Christian you to death. Come to your church, meet your pastor, buddy up with your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. And they don't mean a word of it. As soon, if you're dumb enough to cross the, the threshold and get married to them, there'll be hell on wheels on you. Out there cheating, laying up with this one, that one, the other one, and dare you to say anything about it. Gotta watch people. You gotta watch them. They're like the troubled sea whose water is cast up. Mire and dirt. Do you really want to be close to people like that? I don't think so.